Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a single product template for WooCommerce using Oxygen and Oxygen's WooCommerce integration. So in the last video, we set up the shop page or the products archive. And now we need to show a nice layout when someone clicks a product from the shop page and views its details. This is the setup we are going to be creating. And as you can see, it follows the design of our site and it looks really nice and clean. So let's jump over to the back end and we will go to Oxygen and Templates. Now I have a single product template already created and this is just assigned under where does this template apply in the singular section to products. That's really all there is to that. Now, if you have other templates, which you probably do, you may want to adjust the template priority of this template. I usually go with zero for the main template, which contains the header and footer, and then one for most subsequent templates. Um, sometimes you'll need a higher priority. So if you notice your template isn't applying for some reason, you can play with the template priority number. So let's jump in and edit this with Oxygen. All right, now that we're in the builder, we're going to start with a section to contain all of our elements. So let's add a section. And to kind of match the style of the site, we're going to add that background pattern image that we had used on the shop page. So we'll go to advanced background, background image, and we'll grab that image. Now, when you're using repeating patterns, you'll want to make sure the background size is set to auto. And then we're going to add an overlay to make this not quite as bold. Great. Now, since we're working with a single product, we're going to want to use the product builder element. So let's add a product builder, which is essentially a wrapper for the WooCommerce single product elements. So we'll add that in. And as you can see, the default WooCommerce layout is here. And honestly, if you were happy with this, then you could leave it. You don't have to make any further adjustments. But in our case, we want to customize this thing. So we're going to go up to Add, and we're going to search for Columns and do a two-column layout here. We'll do 50-50. And the left column is going to go ahead and contain our product images and title and price. So let's go ahead and style the left column first. So we're gonna to go to advanced background and let's set it to a white background color first. And then let's go to advanced borders and set it to maybe a 12 pixel border radius to give us some rounded corners. Now let's go in and add a product images element. So product images, drop that in there. Perfect. And then we're going to want to round the corners on this too, just to be consistent. So we will go to layout and then we'll change the border radius to something like eight pixels. Great. So that gives us a slightly rounded corner there. And now we're going to add our product title. So click add and search for product title. And it's way too big and the color's not quite right. So let's set it to this dark green and let's lower the font size a bit to maybe, let's try 18. Great. And then let's add some size and spacing margin above that. Maybe uh, let's try 20 pixels. And then let's go ahead and add the price element. So add and type price, product price comes up. And we're actually going to make this one a bit bigger. So let's make it maybe, I don't know, 20 pixels. Actually, let's go uh, 32 on that. And then let's go to advanced size and spacing and add, let's say 12 pixels of margin to the bottom of that. Now let's add our cart button. So let's search for cart, product cart button. And we have it there. We're going to go to uh, add to cart button and we're gonna change the button background color to our global color here and the button hover background color to our kind of darker green color. Perfect. Now we also could change that under Manage Settings, Global Styles, WooCommerce. And here we have the button settings. So we could change 
uh, many of the buttons in WooCommerce at once using these global styles. So let's go ahead and just do that uh, since we want our primary CTAs to be that turquoise color and then we'll use this darker green for the hover state which will have the same effect essentially as changing it for that specific element. All right. That's the left column. Now, now that I have some of these elements in here, I think it might be a little too wide. We might want a little more space on the right side. So let's select this column div here and let's set its width to 40% uh, instead of 50. Now you'll notice the other column has adjusted to fill the available space. Now in this side, we're going to have the product details and reviews and things like that. So to get that, we need to go to add and look for the product uh, tabs element. So type tabs and use product tabs. And there we have two tabs, one description, one reviews. If this had some additional specifications, there would be uh, that information available as well in the tabs element. So we can go between those. Perfect. But we want to style this up a bit. So let's go into tabs, uh, normal tabs, and let's just set the uh, tab background color to this kind of mint green that we have here, or mint uh, cream color, sorry. Um, and actually that looks a little bit uh, too green on the background. So what we can do, um, when you're designing things and using grays, a lot of times it's a good idea to saturate those grays with a bit of your main color or the colors that will be over them, etc. So let's select the background and go to advanced uh, background. And let's change this image overlay color um, to be based off of this mint green. So we're going to be about the same color, but we'll just lower the opacity a bit. So there we go. We get essentially the same effect, but then that green tint on the tabs elements is not quite as jarring. All right, so under tabs, uh, hover tab, we're going to change the hover tab text color to this uh, red that we have. Okay, great. Now what we want to do is add some related products below this uh, area here. So we need to select the columns element and we're gonna go to advanced size and spacing and add some uh, margin to the bottom, about 32 pixels. Now we can, uh, we're still within the product builder. Um, we're gonna select the product builder and click add or you can choose from the available product elements here in the properties pane. Um, we need the uh, related products list. So we can drop that in. And just like that, we have a list of products that are related to the product we're currently viewing. All right, so now let's style this up a bit. So let's go ahead to our um, buttons and let's change the background colors to kind of match our uh, styles on the, um, the main button here. So background hover color is gonna be the darker one. Uh, and we have a border here that we probably don't want. So let's change that to none. And then let's go back to our styles and we're gonna go to layout and we're gonna set the items aligned to center and make sure we're on four columns, which we are already, but we'll just make sure we have it set up that way. And then uh, we're gonna go into the price and current price, and let's change the font size to 32 pixels. That looks better. Uh, the link is a little uh, small, uh, so we will adjust that, but first let's change this line height to one, um, and maybe the font weight down to like 300, or maybe 400, let's try that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's go back and we're gonna go to the links section and change these to like 14 pixels. So that brings the size down a little bit. We also have the um, the view cart buttons which pop up when you click these and these already look um, good. So I think that's just about it. So let's uh, jump over to the front end. Um, so let's go uh, back to WordPress and go to front end and let's start out at the shop page first of all so we have our shop page we have a couple of pages of products here and let's say we want this one or we want to learn more about it so let's click on that and then we're taken to our new um, product page which is a template which applies to all of our products so we can hover over and see uh, a lot of detail for that ice cream we can add it to our cart uh, we can switch between these tabs to view the reviews description 
etc. Um, and then if we go to any other product, it uses the exact same template and styling. So in true oxygen fashion, you design once and it applies everywhere you want it to without having to repeat a bunch of uh, design work. So it really makes things quick and easy to get a really good looking design and layout set up across your entire site. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's how to set up a single product template for WooCommerce products in Oxygen using Oxygen's WooCommerce integration. Thank you for watching.